Good evening, everyone. TGIF. You know, some people like to call it winning ugly. Alabama's 8-3 and three in the SEC, in spite of the fact that they've scored 60 or more points in only four of those 11 SEC games. Now, the Tide will try to move to 9-3 and three tomorrow afternoon when they host South Carolina and Anthony Grant's old buddy, Frank Martin. Now, the Gamecocks are only 2-9 and nine in the conference and got destroyed last night by LSU in Columbia. But back to Bama. The Tide may be struggling to score points, but Grant says as long as they continue to play great defense, they'll have a chance to win every game they play. Well, you know, the thing we talk about is, is our, you know, as long as we defend the way we're capable of, we're going to have a chance every game, you know, and, and to control the things we can control. You know, I mean, I know a lot's been made up of some of the offensive struggles we, we've had, you know, and, and really over the last five games, you know, we're probably, you know, shooting – uh, a, a much lower percentage than we had all year. You know, when you look at what we were doing, I think at one point we were leading the conference in three-point field goal percentage. We were, you know, in the mid-40s from the field. Uh, you know, in the last five games, we haven't done that, but we've won four out of five, and a big reason for that is that we, our guys have been committed to uh, stay in the course from a defensive standpoint. We just try to go out and be aggressive. Um, you know, our identity is 94 feet both ways, um, being aggressive on defense and coming out with our energy and trying to let our defense create offense. So those are the things that we try to go out there and do. Well, you know, it's almost unheard of for Alabama gymnastics to be on a two-meet losing streak, but that is the case for the Tide going into tonight's home meet against Auburn. Bama has lost back-to-back -back weeks at Georgia and at Florida. But Sarah Patterson says all is not lost and much was gained in those two meets. You know, I, I don't think they like losing either, but I also think, you know, they realize that if we can take this and make us better, um, we've been in two very hostile environments where we've had record setting crowds, uh, you know, because everybody wants to see us and they, they have this day marked, you know, on, on their calendar that this is when they're meeting the defending national champions. So, from that perspective, I, I understand the competitiveness. And for us now, we get to come back to the confines of Coleman Coliseum. We're trying to win the state championship here at the University of Alabama, um, you know, over Auburn. So to me, uh, it's always focusing on the next week. We'll have highlights from that meet for you tonight at 10. Well, the Alabama baseball team season opener against VMI just got underway over at Sewell Thomas Stadium. Sophomore right-hander Spencer Turnbull is towing the rubber for the Tide. Those highlights as well for you tonight at 10. And the Alabama softball team continues to live up to its number one ranking, playing in the Florida Gulf Coast Tournament down in Fort Myers, Florida. The Tide had no problems dispatching Appalachian State this afternoon, 9-3. Lauren Sewell had a no-hitter going into the fifth, but she gave up a three-run homer. Still, Leslie Jury came in to finish it off. The Tide rolls. They'll play the host school, Florida Gulf Coast. Tonight at 7.15, we'll update you, of course, at 10. The worst-kept secret in college football coaching circles finally became official on Friday. LSU introduced Cam Cameron as its new offensive coordinator in a press conference in Baton Rouge. Cameron, the Baltimore Ravens offensive coordinator since 2008, was let go by John Harbaugh midway through the season for reportedly not listening to other coaches as the offense grew stagnant. Cameron and LSU head coach Les Miles, they were close friends and coached together on both Schimbackler's staff and Michigan back in the early 1990s. This afternoon over at the Roberta Allison Baumgartner Tennis Facility, the ninth-ranked ladies Alabama tennis team faced off against the Washington Huskies. Both teams came in 6-1. and one. The doubles team, Amaya Jensen and Natal uh, Natalia Mayonetto, won their doubles match 8-6. to six. And then Marianne McFarlane and her playing partner, Emily Zabor, clinched the doubles point for the Tide. In fact, Alabama's uh, cleaning up in singles as well. The match isn't over, but Alabama's already clinched the victory, leading 5 to nothing, and uh, they'll move to 7-1 on the season.